Hey everybody, Haas Drone here with another Star Trek First Edition Friday video. Today we are in the sh we're in the kitchen uh, whipping up a salad. What I have for you today, as promised, is a deck um, where we have included Sherlock Holmes. Obviously, this version isn't the updated version, but this version is the updated version. So. Unfortunately, I can't bring you a video where the um, image in Lackey has been updated. The cards in Lackey have not been updated to reflect the February uh, errata document yet. So some of the cards that you'll see them in Lackey won't be right, but they are of course correct on the Trek CC website. So uh, just a reminder, so the errata text on Sherlock Holmes is at the start of your turn, you may draw a card if an opponent has more cards in hand than you. So what we're doing is we are running a deck where we have uh, four uh, Sector 001 missions. This is so that we can kind of force the space line to what we want. Uh, we can basically push an Alpha Quadrant opponent's missions off to the side. We can play in our little sandbox. They play in their little sandbox. This allows us to then um, with just two missions that are off sector, uh, we can then basically be certain or fairly certain that we're going to be able to get um, our host metaphasic shield test next to Earth, or at least close to Earth. We also are playing with Cytherian lore in order to, uh, for the same reason, if we face the Cytherians here, we would then be able to solve that Cytherians rather easily. So what I've got for you today is, uh, sal as I said, a, a Sherlock Holmes salad. So uh, free report salad is a deck type that has been in the game for a while. Uh, basically, it's just kind of a term used to identify a deck that can put out four free reports or more. Um, and that's what this deck is able to do. If you looked at the thumbnail for the video, you would see that our four free reports our Office of the President, Scientific Diplomacy, we have Finest Crew in the Fleet, and we have Attention All Hands. So Finest Crew gets us a USS Enterprise, Attention All Hands a Universal TNG, non-hologram android or AU person. Scientific Diplomacy allows specific people that it names to report for free. And then Office of the President gets us an Ambassador, Admiral, Vice Admiral, or President for free. The deck is kind of a mix of all of those things. Uh, we have for Draw Engine, we have the draw that we get from Continuing Mission. We have a draw from Cafe. Uh, we are grabbing Sergey and Helena with assigned support personnel. And then we also have the 221B Baker Street getting us Sherlock. So if an, an opponent has more cards in hand than us at the start of our turn, we will draw an extra card. So our goal with this deck then is to basically like lean into Sherlock a bit by doing what it is that you want a speed solver deck to do anyway, which is put out people quickly. So we have four free play engines, and that means that kind of on average we're going to be playing about 2.75 personnel f for free each turn. That's kind of how the math tends to work out. Um, there's only going to be a couple of rare turns where you get four people out and play for free. Um, most turns you'll do two for free or three for free, which is fine. Um, the quality of the personnel is decent, and so it's you know definitely something where you want to to maximize, you know, to lean into that. Um, but Sherlock is for sure going to hopefully get us a couple of draws in those hopefully only five-ish turns of the game. Because that's what you kind of want right now if you're playing a speed solver deck is you want to try to win, be going in for the win on turn five or turn six. It's kind of where the speed of the game is at right now. And when you're playing free report salad, you're definitely leaning into it. But... Uh, we also have a kind of half draw, half card play engine with Visit Cochrane Memorial. We have um, Taking Charge that we will flip 
and then we will have our Captain Benjamin Maxwell download that. And then it will also get us the download of Secure Homeworld so that we can attempt Earth. Because what we want to do is we want to solve the Metaphasic Shield test and Earth, plus score bonus points from assigned mission specialists and uh, maybe pick up some points from scientific diplomacy and get us to our 100 points on two missions. Host Metaphasic Shield test is worth 60 if we can get all four of the mission specialists there. Earth is worth 50 if we get our two leadership mission specialists uh, in the solve. So we do have some bonus points to play with. But we can always do a third mission if we need to, which is another reason why it's good to have this kind of, you know, region here and then Cytherian lore next door to it as well. That getting to a third mission is not a problem if we need to get to one quickly. We do have some defense in the deck. Um, we are going to play kind of, we're kind of continuing the TNG theme here and we are running Shades of Great Brutality and we are trying to set up for wiping our opponent out in space. Uh, we hit them with a persistent individuality, maybe kill a few people, maybe stop them, but it forces them to have a significant number of people if they want to get through it. And then we hopefully hit them with a doubled up Barclays Protomorphous disease. Continuing with that TNG theme, what we do have is we have some copies of Brain Drain in the deck. So when the opponent goes to the mission, they go there before they attempt, you get your action, and you know, after they've either beamed, undocked, moved, whatever, they've gone to that mission, you can play Brain Drain uh, as your action then and remove all of the skills and cunning from one personnel until the end of the turn. Um, so we just simply look at the personnel that they have on the ship, and then we pick out the one that's gonna either make it so that the Barclays hits, or possibly even the persistent individuality is going to hit hard, and, or is going to be able to possibly like, you know, they won't get past persistent individuality. Because if they maybe don't have Maybe they only have one engineer, he's not engineer classification, he's just engineer on, on the person. We would then be able to remove that engineer and they're not getting through persistent individuality either. So, uh, we have Wipeout here to planet with the Buried Alive persistent god combo. Um, the uh, Instead of persistent individuality into Barclays here, we have Trilithium Raid into Barclays Proto. And then we just kind of have um, friendly fire combos elsewhere to try to delay our opponents. So that's kind of how our defense is set up, is that with the dead end we're forcing our opponent into these other combos, and then those other combos are either wiping them out or locking them out of the mission for a couple of turns to buy us the time that we need to try to solve for the win. But yeah, um, here's a look at the deck list. I will have the deck list linked into the um, into the uh, notes for this video. So in the description for the video, we'll have the deck list print, you know, marked there. And so you'll have full access to the deck list if you would like to play it yourself. But I'm gonna just do a very quick um, fishbowl here, just to kind of show you how the deck plays. And then that way you can kind of see the early turns of the deck. And we have our Q's 10 here. And yeah, so we're kind of good to go. So we'll draw our seven and see what we get. Not bad, not great. Um, we don't have an admiral of any kind, but we do have a scientific diplomacy and an enterprise and a universal. So we will have three free plays on the first turn, which is fine. We have a ship in hand, so we don't have to use attention all hands download on the first turn but that is how the first turn goes for this deck. So we play our Scientific Diplomacy personnel for free at the location. We play our Universal um, our universal personnel for free with Attention All Hands. We draw a card off of, off of the uh, continuing mission. We play our USS Enterprise personnel, and then we will just card play a ship. 
we will use assign support personnel in the first turn. And we'll go get Sergey and Helena. Of course, we can do all these things because we have a holodeck door that's seated on the starbase to give a holodeck. Um, and then that also allows us to see the hollow program and the other hollow program. So we leave Sergey and Helena behind. They're going to stop for the cafe that draws us a card. Cool. And then we can take the Enterprise now that we have staffing here. We can fly to Earth again. We have our we have our Captain Benjamin Maxwell here. He's going to use that, and he's going to download that, and then uh, we just simply beam down one of our human engineers. We actually have three of well, we have we have two because he doesn't actually have it. Uh, so we'll beam down Leia for the first turn. And then we get to end of turn, and we can probe with the Cochrane Memorial. Oh, we hit one of our we hit one of our only like couple of non-aligned personnel on the deck. So we discard a card. We're just gonna discard to we'll discard to Pan. This is not really too much of a problem for us because now we have our science personnel in the discard pile for scientific diplomacy. So, not the end of the world. Okay, so uh, we'll just simply draw to end the turn. So we get Vosh out of the way. It's really rather annoying, but that's just kind of how it goes. Opponent has their turn. On their turn, we have Sergey and Helena download Alexander. Or sorry, Nikolai, I mean. And then we get to our second turn. And we can play Agur for free as scientific diplomacy. We can play um, Martin for free as a universal. That draws us a card. Uh, we have a USS Enterprise personnel that we can play. And then we will card play Catherine Pulaski. We'll stop Sergey and Helena to draw a card. Uh, we started the turn with, what, four, six cards in hand? Or, sorry, five cards in hand. There was a possibility that our opponent would have been able to give us a card draw with, um, with Sherlock, but we didn't download him. But let's actually, instead of playing Catherine, let's do that now. Well, let's just download Sherlock as our card play. We only have three cards in hand right now. And we'll probably end the turn with, like, five again, possibly. Um, and so, you know, it's kind of in that coin flip zone of whether our opponent's going to be able to give us a draw or not. But for turn two, we beam up Leia Brahms. We have Wesley Crusher visit the Connor Memorial. So we stop Sergey and Helena to draw a card. And then at the end of turn, we will probe with Wesley Crusher. And that's a card draw, and then we draw to end the turn. So we go to the opponent's turn two. They do their thing. They probably don't attempt. They probably should not attempt on turn two. Turn three, we have our turn. Um, again, six cards is kind of a coin flip as to whether or not the opponent would have more or less cards on, than us in hand. Um, we'll just assume that they don't. We'll assume that they probably have five or six as well for the purposes of the play test. Again, Sherlock is not what we've built the deck around. He's just there to try to maybe enhance what the deck is doing. All right, so let's play our ambassador for free. Let's play USS Enterprise personnel for free, and he draws a card with continuing mission. Let's play Universal personnel for free, and then now we will play Catherine Pulaski as our card play. Uh, Deanna's going to download. Dan is going to download Intuition as another possible card draw for us. Our captain will download the 
headquarters secure home, secure home world. Catherine Plasky will get the genotronic replicator. All right, so. Um, beating them up. We would have Deanna Troy um, Pro to see if she draws us a card. Um, for the purposes of random selection here, we'll let's just say that like a personnel is probably a 60% chance. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a we're gonna do a random roll here, and if it's one through four, we're gonna draw a card. It is, so we'll draw the card. So we have four cards in hand. We don't really need to probe at Conquer and Memorial right now. Um, what we will do is we will use USS Enterprise download of Wall of Ships. And that'll get us another Enterprise. We're gonna get the Enterprise. Oh, I have Future Enterprise in here, but that's, that's not right. This was changed to this was changed to the future Enterprise. Sorry, the Enterprise C. So there just must have been a, something wrong here with, with that. So we're going to, it's not going to be this. The NS Enterprise C is what's supposed to be in the deck. And just to show that to you, see there it is. So something just happened with this, the saving of the deck. So USS Enterprise C hits play, it enters play damaged. We're going to assume that the opponent does not have a battle bridge of any kind, so it's just going to be uh, minus five. It's going to be at five, five ranges all. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the enterprise, use this enterprise D come to here. And then we're gonna have the enterprise C. Probably not go anywhere since I don't think we have any, I don't think we have any uh, AU personnel in play yet. No, we don't. So that's fine. So this is what we have in play. We don't risk our mission specialists in mission attempts unless we know that they are safe. So we'll set these personnel aside. We will set Sergey and Helena aside because we're going to have them stop and draw a card. We'll have Sherlock be aside because we want him to stop and draw a card. Um, we'll leave Deanna. We'll keep Deanna in there. We'll leave. We'll leave. <laughs> let's just figure out who's going to attempt. Let's just have, let's just have, there's four dilemmas there. So we're just going to do this as a micro attempt. So we're just going to risk that idiot, this idiot, and probably her. And then everybody else is just going to be on the outpost. So the Enterprise will be undocked and then we'll beam these people to it. Um, although I suppose they could staff that. They actually they can staff it anyway and undock it, but that's fine. So these three people are going to attempt. Uh, higher the fewer, we'll lose three. And then we will hit the Edo probe. Um, we can take a 10 point loss um, from the Edo probe because if, if we just get all of our mission specialists into play for host metaphasic shield test, we can we can take that point loss. Um, 
because we only lost three here, we'd be at minus 13. So uh, we already have an eight in the discard pile. So if we solve even with three of our mission specialists, we can absorb it. So we are just gonna push through. Um, personal duty, uh, they cannot get through. But now we know it's a personal duty friendly fire. At least that's what we're going to assume because that's probably the only time you ever see personal duty. We don't have any double leadership personnel. Yeah, we don't have any double leadership personnel. But we know that we have several in the deck. We even have one right here. And so what I think we're going to just simply do is we're going to just not have anybody die here. Um, but if we do have somebody push through and die, if we just choose one a leadership person to go through, but the problem is the leadership person all that we have is Benjamin Maxwell. Well, I suppose it'd be also have, we have Wesley Crusher, he could go through. We could just have Wesley Crusher die. If we send him with two medical personnel, then we could just send him back to hand. Yeah, that seems like a winning play, right? Seems like a smart play. All right, so those three are stopped on board the Enterprise. So then we'll just attempt with these three people. They'll beam onto the Enterprise, they will attempt. Wesley goes through. And then, yeah, it's a friendly fire, so then one of them is going to die. So if it hits Wesley, we can save him. If it hits one of these two, then we just don't care. So we'll do a random roll. One, two, three, four. Wesley's five, six. Okay. Uh, Martin will die. Can't save him. Not a problem. This goes on the mission, but now the mission is essentially clear. Now all we got to do is get through here. We're going to lose the 10 points no matter what. But now we're just pot committed to getting all four of our mission specialists into play. And we have, um, we just have one of them in play right now, unfortunately. So we have a ways to go yet. But we'll stop Sergey and Helena to draw a card. Oh, there we go. There's the paler top we need for it. And then we will have the Enterprise go back. No, we won't. Oh, yeah, we haven't had to really do it yet. So we'll have the Enterprise fly back. We'll staff it. We'll have it fly back. And then we will... No, wait. Can't do that because it stopped. Never mind. No, we're fine there. Okay, so we'll just draw it on the turn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, opponent has their turn. This counts down one, and then we go to our was it fourth turn? We'll discard. Opponent has their turn, they probably do some stuff here. Uh, we would probably end up having to flip the Shades of Grey, just depending on what happens. Uh, it's hard to say which mission they would do and stuff like that. I don't really want to guess on that at this point. Um, we don't have a brain drain, so we'd be at the mercy of whatever it is the opponent chose to do. But um, So we kind of go to, so we go to our fourth turn. Uh, we have... Let's have... This Admiral play for free, draws us a card. Like I said, we, we discarded the uh, assigned mission specialist at the start of turn. Um, let's Paler Toffet. We'll do it as our card play right now. So we're going to grab 
let's grab Gibson and let's grab Riva. They are the ones that don't play for free because if we if we find Dr. Christopher, he can play for free. We also need to get Nora Satie into play here at some point before we start solving missions. So they come into play here. All right, so we did an admiral for free. We don't have a scientific diplomacy person. Uh, we'll go with a. Let's go with. And Sam Lavelle qualifies as both, and then he's the only one that we can play for free. Um, so let's just play Sam Lavelle for free. And we need to push through this, this mission over here. So we leave our... Let's get a better idea of what's going on here. So let's get our people on board our ship. Let's take a look at all of our people here. Leave the mission specialist behind. Leave the mission specialist behind. Mission specialist stays behind. Mission specialist stays behind. else here seems seems pretty good leave them behind to draw a card Sherlock Holmes maybe draws us a card I mean that's another thing we may have drawn a card at the start of that turn it's just hard to know I mean we've taken a hit from um, the higher the fewer so we kind of assume that we're probably not going to face another one of those again so we probably can just like send a bunch of people. Um, we literally only have one medical. Other medical is Admiral McCoy and he's in our hand. Maybe you should have played him instead. Um, so let's do this. Let's fly the Enterprise to here with these people. Let's just... Let's just prepare for a Jolly Chew and then just kind of see what happens. So um, let's have Deanna Troy do her, th her thing. So once again, we'll just go one through four, draw us as a card. Draw a card. That's interesting. Um, so there's transporter skill. Uh, Jordy on board the ship. Deanne on board the ship. Although she's anthropology, but so is Catherine. We'll send Catherine down. Um, yeah, so we'll just put Deanne on board the ship. Probably need to send at least three. We're just going to assume that our opponent has the ability to villagers uh, torches us. So we'll just send Catherine. We'll send Nikolai because he's pretty meaningless. We'll send Joe Brill for the same reason. Uh, Sam Lavelle is going to download the lower decks just because. And then we will preemptively use uh, Temporal Conduit to download Stone Knives and Bear Skins. And then we will have these people on the ship, these people on the planet attempting, these people will be in the headquarters and not involved. Uh, Denovan, that is a round up, so two of these are going to die, so we're going to select who continues. Catherine continues, and these two die.
and then we find an experience beach. So we need to face another dilemma before we can go through. Okay, so the USS Enterprise hasn't gone anywhere other than it's gone three range. So we can we can get to Battle of Sector 001. Um, not quite sure what we should be concerned about facing, but we also don't want to get stranded. But we do have Admiral Riker that we can play back here so we can staff the Enterprise C. And at the end of this turn, this thing will be will be repaired. Um, let's see if we can. Let's see how we do here as far as personnel is concerned against um, persistent individuality and V'ger and so forth. So we have Anthro Dippo and computer skill, and then we have VIP, officer, engineer, science, security. So we only have one, two, three, four, five. We have five, so we, we take two kills. Um, so let's just send Wesley in and maybe up the chance that we would actually get through it. And then we're just going to leave, let's leave Tate behind and let's leave Agir behind and we'll take Sam Lavelle. Okay, Enterprise flies over to here, attempts battle at Sector 001. This is not a waste of time because since we drew Dixon Hill, um, we might, we might even be able to uh, solve back this battle of sector zero zero one. So we face, and it is the persistent visuality. So we're going to kill two here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Deanna dies. Sam Lavelle dies. We have an engineer to go through. Oh, Temptations of the Flesh. Uh, we have two in play. Three in play. One, two, three. We have three in play. We're going to assume that if an opponent is playing this, they probably have at least two. We're going to stop all five. Okay. So, we know what we need, what we need to do if we wanted to beat this over here, but we get rid of the experience beach. So then what we're going to do is back here. Um, so that attempt end, but we did, but she wasn't stopped. So we actually have these three people that can just simply reattempt and see what that last dilemma is. So they will do that. Oops. All right. So it's Jolly Chew. Gonna just probably kill and kill. Leave Aggir alone. All right, so now we know that we just have to beat Jolly Chew, and we just have to have our mission specialists, and then we're gonna we're gonna win. So, because um, we've taken a thirteen point loss, but we have the ability to solve. Um, if we could just find, because um, we've got. So we've got 20 bonus points there, and then we have eight bonus points here. So we have 28, 28 plus 80. So we just need one more mission specialist to show up. So we'll just simply draw to end the turn, pass to the opponent. And then we go into our turn five. Um, We do have a way of guaranteeing, um, we kind of have a sort of way of guaranteeing that, we'd be, that we'll be able to solve on the following turn, this would have gone away. But 
but let's see what happens here first. So, um, we'll play Admiral McCoy for free to draw a card. Actually, what we should do is we should just discard the mission specials now. We should have another sort of turn because if we can get it back in any way, shape, or form, then we can just guarantee that we have it for next turn. So we play Admiral McCoy for free. <coughs> And then we can, the other option we have is we can try to blast through Battle of Sector 001 as well. We can maybe try to do that while we are waiting. So with that in mind, I think what we would do, so Dig can get it back for us. So it's, um, Place any one card in your discard pile beneath your, uh, or discard the top card of your deck. Place any card for the discard pile on top of draw deck. Yeah. Discard a card for banner. Take any one card from your discard pile in a hand. Okay. Um. So we're just going to have to punt this turn. Um, we're just going to punt this turn and then next turn we can win. And so we would simply do that by just playing Bosch. So we just move the Enterprise over to here. Uh, she has Anthropology and we have transporter skill on board the ship yet. So we can simply clear the Jolly Chew but not solve. I just simply like having these two attempt, sorry, these three attempt on the planet. <clears throat> we'll leave Jordy behind for the visit Cochrane Memorial. And we'll just simply have the Enterprise fly back over to here we can have Sergei and Helena draw. But let's um, yeah, have Sergei and Helena draw. And then end of turn, we have Jordy probe. That's a draw. And then we draw to end the turn. Now, opponent's turn, what we can do is we can do the special download on Vosh, and we just dig. So we get the assigned mission specials back to hand <coughs> by getting rid of um, Baron. And so then on our turn, when it comes back to us on turn six or seven, uh, we would be able to uh, just simply, like you know, um, probably play JP for free and draw a card and then we draw it. Uh, and then we just card play that and we download her. Where did Dr. Christopher go? There he is. Download that, download him. Uh, she's a metaphasic shield personnel for free. USS Enterprise personnel for free. <coughs> and then we basically just solve both missions. So uh, we do that. So we go navigation, engineer, diplomacy and science, solve for 60 and then remove her for an eight. So we actually get plus 68 here, 20, 40, 68. And then as you can see, we're only 45 away. So we can just simply fly to here and then beam down everybody. And then we would have Nora Satie and 
Benjamin Maxwell uh, solve with an Heike and people, and then they score an additional, so then we score 40 from the mission and 10 bonus points. And that puts us at 105. And then that would be the game. Assuming that the opponent hasn't won already, then we would have the win there. So that's the deck. That's kind of how you play it. Um, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, criticisms, please leave a comment below. Please like the video if you did like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And may the profits be with you.